Good morning. I'm here with Mary Bastille, candidate for the DCA Board of Directors. In advance of the interview, all candidates were informed that they would be given one minute at the beginning to make an introductory statement and one minute at the end to provide a summary. Other than those prepared statements, candidates have not been provided advance notice of the questions that will be asked. And all candidates will be presented with the same questions. So Mary, you have a minute, say whatever you'd like. Okay. Hey, Veranda, I am Mary Basile and I live on Mossy Oak with my husband, Howard, and my crazy dog, Charlie. Um, we've been in Veranda for about four years. Uh, prior to that, we lived in Maui, Hawaii for 10 years. And prior to that, we were in the San Francisco Bay Area. So um, we love Veranda. We love the community. Um, I have a, we have a daughter um, and a wonderful son-in-law. We have a grandson named Teddy, who is two years old. And we are about to be grandparents of our second uh, grandson. So super excited about that. Um, I have served as a neighborhood rep for Mossy Oak for the last year and a half, two years. Um, so I've got some familiarity with communicating with the board, communicating with the homeowners, understanding some of the challenges and concerns. Um, and that's what really piqued my interest to move a little bit further and uh, become a member of the board if, if that's what the folks want. So professionally, I've spent about... 30 years in um, sales and consulting leadership and management uh, for various, I did startups, I did very large corporations. So I've got a lot of skills around communication, negotiations, um, meeting revenue goals, profitability goals, um, managing budgets and proposals. So I hope those would transfer well to working with the board and, and providing the best service to the community. So that's about it for me. What do you perceive as the biggest priority and challenge for the VCA board to address as it approaches its third year as a homeowner-led board? Okay, I'm probably going to answer this in a way that um, I don't know if you're expecting, but I don't know. And I would say that because I haven't sat with the board I don't understand all of the challenges that they are facing. Whenever I go into a new position in my career, somebody says, well, this, this is a mess. How are we going to fix this? Or what are we going to do? Or how are we going to change things? The first thing I would say is, I don't know. Let me come in. Let me talk to folks. Let me listen to what they've been going through for the last year or two. Let me understand you know, the challenges that they're facing. And then I would probably be able to give you a great idea of what the biggest priority and challenge is. Um, but, you know, just off the top of my head, what I've heard and what I've seen from the neighborhood, you know, one of the biggest things I think we're facing is a communications challenge. We're a community of 1,500 homes, very, very diverse population of folks, um, people I think need to be over communicated with. I would love to see, you know, more proactive communication from the board. Um, and maybe what are we working on for the next six months? Let's introduce the board members. Let's talk about who we are and what we do and why we do it. Um, let's just try to build more of a sense of community. But is that the biggest challenge? I, I, you know, I probably would get different opinions from the different board members. And I'd love to have an opportunity to work with the board and and try to figure that out. What skills, attributes, and ideas do you have to address these priorities and challenges? <laughs> well, um, I think my experience in business has taught me a few things. Number one is to, you know, I think my dad used to tell me this, God gave you two ears and one mouth. So, you know, listen loudly. Um, I think I've got great team building skills. I think I have pretty good communication skills. I think I've got the ability to balance what we might want to do with financial constraints. Um, but most importantly, I think I have the ability to really listen and analyze and help 
perhaps bring a new perspective and a new set of eyes to problems that people have been facing for the last several years. As you're probably aware, the board of directors has established several committees, each with a board member as liaison. What committees do you feel that you could make an impact on and why? Well, I, I would have to say communications. Um, I think I could, I could help any committee, you know, whether it be landscaping or traffic and safety, um, whatever we do as a board needs to be communicated to our constituents, right? I was in the board meeting yesterday and we were talking about ways to stop speeding. Um, you know, that's a traffic and safety issue, but it's also a communications issue. So no matter where you're sitting in, in, a, in a committee, there's a communications element to it. Um, so, but overall, you know, my passion is, is around communication. So that would be a great place for me to land, but I'd be happy to land anywhere where I could be of help. What, in your opinion, is the most significant issue to address? And what do you advise should be done? I think the most significant issue in my mind, and again, my mind might change in three months when I learn more about what other things are happening within the community and within the board. But I think right now, um, just when the board meetings occur, there's 35 or 40 people on the call, there just doesn't seem to be enough community involvement. Nobody wanted to run for the board. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big problem in a community of 1,500 homes. And so how do we address that? I think that was part of the question, right, Norm? Yeah. Okay, how do we address it? I think we have to be really creative and try different things. I don't know that there's one specific answer. Um, I think over communication, um, maybe town hall meetings, maybe, as I said, you know, maybe a board member uh, goes out to the community and talks about some things. I'm not really sure, but I think there's ways that we could help bring the community into um, into the fold more. Uh, one last piece of business. Are you now or have you ever been in a non-compliant situation with any HOA? HOA? And if yes, how did you or will you come into compliance? No, I have never been out of compliance. And as I promised, you have one minute or more to uh, just okay. sum up and or add anything you think I didn't cover. No, I think your questions are great. Um, I thought long and hard about whether or not I wanted to run for the board because I know it's a it's a job that requires a lot of effort. I know that the board has done an amazing job um, over the last couple of years. And what really led me to say, I, I want to do this is, honestly, I love Veranda. This is probably the best community I've lived. And I've lived in some very nice communities. I love, it's a beautiful place. There's lovely people here. We've got, uh, you know, wonderful amenities. It's just really idyllic. And, and I want to help keep it that way. So that's really what, what my passion is about and why I'm running for the board. That's it. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome.